Hi everyone, it's Pola from Pola Quilting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm working on uh, finishing my hidden rail fence uh, quilt from uh, blocks from my previous tutorial, which I will link in the description below. And I came up with this funky type of binding, finishing of the binding, and I thought I will show you uh, how I'm doing it. So I've stitched my binding on the back with a um, quarter inch here because I wanted the front to be wider than the back and I do have a tutorial about how to avoid it if that's what you want to have uh, which I will link in the description below but for this occasion I wanted to have that strip wider than the back so that's how I've done it and I'm using to uh, finishing of my binding a just embroidery floss I've, I've got a batch of floss I bought which I don't like for my normal embroidery but it's perfect for all of those crafty stuffs I'm doing here so I'm using it to finish it off but obviously you don't have to do the floss you can use um, other um, threads like uh, cotton pearl and things like that just remember when you're using the floss it will die it will lose a little bit of color so you want to put some color catchers in your um, washing and also probably I wouldn't use you know blue on white the pure white color and things like that but the color catchers should um, catch it up later so I'm not worried about it uh, at all plus my quilt is very scrappy even if there's an extra color there it's just adding to the design <laughs> so that's my that's my philosophy on that one so let me just qu quickly show you how I'm doing it and I'm calling it a, a tulip patch because they look like little bit like little tulips here so let's just move that clip so you have gone you know when you start you have gone from under and this is where you came up so what you want to do is go backwards and go into the the, the binding make sure you don't pull the thread uh, you know on the other side and you want to come up in the same hole when you where you started pull it so you've got that first stitch and you came out from the same hole now you want to go under that loop you've done here now you can try to go from the needle side but if you're catching the fabric or catching the thread the good idea is to just go from the back of the needle with with your eye pull it in and before you going to the end I'm just going through that loop here I've created and I'm not, I'm, I'm not kind of pulling it a lot I'm leaving a little bit of that sticking out here and then I want to go back again third time to the same hole if you go a little bit off the hole it's fine but you want to be more or less in the same spot and then I'm going in and I want to come out just check if I'm not pulling it, yeah, it's all good I want to come out in the distance that it will allow me now go backwards to create another stitch so uh, this is probably a, like half an inch distance from that uh, first hole and I'm pulling in through and that, that, that loop I've created here will create the top of my tulip so let's do it again so I'm going backwards I'm going back to the same hole nice and flat not too tight here then I'm going in under that loop and I'm going inside the eye I've created here so I'm just creating a, a small um, knot here basically and then I'm going back to the same hole and again I'm coming out about half an inch away from that I mean distance is it's all preference you just choose how big those uh, kind of tulips you want to have uh, it's up to you and again go backwards the same hole then I'm going under my stitch making the knot I'm not pulling too much yes I'm just leaving a little like it's not like tight one it's it's quite uh, loose uh, that knot and then I'm going back it is quite time consuming so if you want to finish your quilt quickly obviously this is not the design you want to <laughs> choose you probably if you like a big stitch uh, 
kind of type of binding you just want to do normal stitches going in and in that's quite quick I've got a tutorial on that one as well and I will link in the description below but it does look different and I'll be using different colors of the threads to finish it off so um, because this quilt is quite you know colorful from different shades of you know reds greens pages you know everything all sorts in it I will just go through my skeins and pick up you know one color after another and each of the kind of thread will be different color so that will hopefully look quite nice I will carry on and I will take some pictures at the end how it looks when it's finished so you can uh, see the the final effect Here is a finished binding I really like how it looks it looks a little bit different than start than binding and um, after I kind of got into the rhythm of doing it, it wasn't that slow as uh, as at the beginning, so uh, worth checking out definitely. It just gives a little bit of extra detail to your quilt. For more ideas on the binding, check the playlist I've created called uh, Quilting Tips. All of the tutorials I did on binding are in one place there, so you can have a look at how they progress. Uh, I've got a few more quilts to finish, so hopefully there will be some more ideas with the binding. And I will put them all in the same playlist for you. Thank you for joining, thank you for watching and see you next time.